Hello everyone. This is Norse Gypsy coming to you from Ark's Lost Fjords map. As you can tell, I've been here for a while. Been playing this game for almost 3,000 hours. And this is my great castle that's sitting in here inside the castle that's up on top of the cliffs of Fjord. We're going to do something today that uh, I have not yet attempted or tried. We are going to try to tame a Gigasaurus. Now, it's they're very rare here. They don't come about... Um, they don't come in very often. And let me go and show you what we're going to do. You're going to need more stamina. This is Scout. He's been with me for a while. Damn good bird. Got him leveled up real well. We're going to go over. We're going to eye this Giga. I've been grinding metal like crazy because to make a Giga trap, you're going to need to have it in all metal. And so that's what I'm going to do. But the trick here is, is finding a good place to set it up where I can set it up without the Giga aggroing on me. And then being able to get it in there and then be able to have enough Trank Darts, which I have over 100 now, to be able to get it down. I've got some nice kibble made up. And... Um, so we will see what we can see <coughs> as we try taming this this bad old beast. I have no clue how this is going to go. I've seen some other players tame gigas, and <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they they have they have been successful, and other times they've been eaten. So we're going to see how we're doing because this is really. Um, when she spawned in, it was just one of the one of the prettiest um, prettiest dinosaurs this game I think has ever made. Oh, there's one of those damn turkeys. Yes, this is during turkey trial, and I'm ignoring the turkeys. I'm waiting to get my bird's stamina back up again. Oh, he's going to need to get something to eat. That's okay. There's a dodo around here somewhere. And this is right around in where the Giga was. Get down here a little lower and we should be able to see her. I don't know where she may have wandered off. I, like I said, I've been out. Oh, there she is. Look at her. Green and orange and lovely. But she's right down about where I would like to put a trap. So I'm going to have to rethink that. But look at that beautiful beast. I'm going to sit up over here and hope that the snow owl doesn't decide to aggro on me. But look at her. She's a level 16. And she's aggroed on me a little. She thinks she's going to come and get me. Well, you're not going to come and get me from there. Okay. But if I could get her to move away. Okay, now we're going to leave her alone. But that's what I'm going after. It's possible that I might be able to lure her up here and put one starting right about where that pteranodon is. Just lead her up and over this rise that I'm looking at right here and set the trap up right here. That might be possible. I don't know if I could get her... This isn't level enough or good enough over here to get her off the cliff over here. And I think this is too... This over here might be t same same thing. Just not enough space. Not enough space to put her down into. I might be able to get her off of the cliff and onto the beach, but like I said, she'd jump right into the water. There'd be no nowhere to put her. So, okay, well... My bird needs to eat, so we're going to go make a snack out of this Dilophosaur. There we go. Yeah, Scout needed to eat. So anyway...
That's the target. I'll have to take out the snow owls. We'll see, she appears and disappears. Oh, there she is. She's right underneath us. Okay. Well, you know what? If she stays up here, I might be able to do something crossways along the beach. Let's see if she's following me. She aggroed on me again. She's following me. Okay, I think I'm out of range. If she's going to stay down low, then I might be able to put something here along the beach. Let's, I might be able to build something right here by this rock. Yeah, if I could get her in the right position. I don't know. I don't know. But I might be able to build something right along in there. Not back there, but up over here. I don't know. Might be able to get her to come off of the ledge here. Off of that ledge here and down into the trap. Have to clear out the tree and those rocks. Hmm. This is just a possibility. an eye out. There is a Giga in the area. <laughs> See how bad scouts. See, there she is over there. Get out of her visual. Okay, we still go quite a bit more. Is that all the rocks? That could get into the way. Yes. I love RGs because they can carry a lot of stones and rocks. They get like half boost. Alright, now. Let's go up and have a look. See what's what. Okay. If I put the trap right there, I'll probably get her around and over to there. If I can get the trap built without her becoming aware of it. Let's see if I can lure her up a little farther, get her a little farther away. Hanging around peacefully. Oh, here she comes. Now we're going to go straight up. That should take her off aggro. Okay. Alright, that's the plan. I think I'm going to put the trap down there and try to lead her right off of the edge. And that way I won't have to worry about opening and closing doors. 
I'll give it a try. Like I said, I've been making a bunch of metal things. And I've got walls and gates and pillars. And we'll see if I can build myself a Giga Trap. Carnos and saber tooths, and there's all kinds of things all around. So let's get back to base. And yeah, this is one of the little villages my husband Mike and I made. We were playing with the Echoes Highlands building stuff, and yeah, it was fun. We did some did some fun things over there, and I'm probably going to make it back to my sheep pen. This down here is where I had some horses at one point in time, and then it became where I had my Dianonychuses. And then this over here is my sheep pen, where I have all my sheep guarded by my Ankylosaur and my little nasty plants there. And they are making wool. And we are home. Okay, I'm going to put him on the ground. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and pause right here for a minute. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Norse Gypsy on Ark's Fjodor map and we're working on trapping a gigasaur. Well, we had some technical difficulties last time and I lost most of what I was doing, but it really wasn't exciting stuff anyway. We just watched the gig a little bit and started building the trap and we will go ahead and go on back over there now, Scout and I, and we will um, show you what we've accomplished so far and then continue with the trap, finish it, and then see if we can get that nice pretty lady Giga to run inside of it for us. So anyway, um, those things happen. You know, you hit to the start record thing and it doesn't do it. and Yeah, it's just the way it is. Technical difficulties. We all have them. But anyway, we will, we shall overcome. I will definitely, before I get the Giga aggroed on me to where we're going to hope she'll follow, I'll make sure that everything is as it should be and is recording and stuff like that. So anyway, this is a just a beautiful map. Um, they have done such a nice job with this. Um, and all of the other um, maps that we play on in ARC. And I would just, if the creators are paying any kind of attention, I know they're working so hard on ARC 2. And I do understand keeping things fresh and new and alive and vibrant. But you know, sometimes you score such a good hit with something that you shouldn't give it up. At least not lightly, okay? So, I hope to see them, even after ARC 2 gets going, continue to make maps and support this game. Because I don't think ARC 2 is going to be like this one. It's going to be a third person game, which I understand is different. And there's our Lady Giga. And how much more pretty can she be in her, in her green and gold coloring? Okay, and you can see the beginnings of the trap that I've got for her right now. And I've got the two behemoth gates up in metal. I've got the foundations down. And now I've just got to go and place the walls. She's over the hill over there. So we're all right. Just making sure she's over that hill and not right there. No, she's over that hill. She's not right here. Okay. She does tend to wander. Okay, now, 
Yes, Scout, have something to eat. We're going to put this. We don't really need that. We don't need that. I'm going to leave that there. These are other things we're just going to put away for a minute. That doesn't need to go into there. So we can put these things away. Nope, I didn't need that on me. And, okay. Let's put up as many walls as we can to start with. Take two. I think I can carry two. Yeah. And he can carry a bunch more than that. Let's go get those others. Then we'll come back and get the pillars and put the pillars in as we need them. The walls are much stronger than the pillars, but I could only make so many of them. It was expensive, but we'll make sure that she's going to be worth it. And yeah, there'll be a couple of things that I'll, some cleanup work that I'll have to do before we start this. Okay. All right, let's set a couple of walls. All right. Now these are five high walls. and do them every other okay that should probably be okay with the pillar these over here I'm gonna want to have You know, maybe I should put them on the inside like this so she can't hit the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them on the inside like this so she can't hit... She... Yeah, I don't think she'll be able to do anything with that. I am. I do think I'm going to put an extra one there. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick these up and put these on the inside so that she can't hit the, um, the, uh, the foundations. That's what I'm trying to say. So she can't hit the foundations quite so, quite so readily. Yeah, she may go and get herself stuck up in there. Yeah. There. And there. 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 Two, three, four. Gosh, I really, really wish I could have another one. Hi. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's go get those pillars. And put the pillars up. Looking around, making sure she's nowhere in sight. Get the pillars. You know, I may grab a few of those more. She's going to be able to climb up that. I 
I am going to do here. I'm going to help this out by going one, two, three, and four. Okay, now let's put the pillars up. Nope. Put the pillar in the middle. Mm hmm. Three. Actually, oh, well, no, let's just go ahead and put it in the middle for now. Let's see what we've got. Because I'm going to probably want to put one and three over here if I've got enough. There. Put one there. And I do have Ooh, they're not they're not that high. Well, I still don't think she can get through them. How many do I have left? Oh, I only have one. Okay, that's five walls high. They're just they're just I don't think she's gonna get out of this. Yeah, I don't think she's going to get out of this, but I think I am going to put this other one, see if I can get it up there. Yeah, give it a little more height, since that's probably going to be the weakest spot, since it's too wide and she might be able to get through there. Okay. Alright folks, and I've got the door set on manual, so even if I come close to them, they won't open. I think that's big enough to hold a gig if I can get her to run off the edge. Alright, let's come over here. Uh, let's check everything for a minute. Let's scout, make sure he's got plenty of meat. He's got my Giga saddle on him. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take that off of him. I'm going to take the narcotics off of him too. I've got 164 trank darts. I've got water and food for me because this may take a while. I've got even that, but I don't have anything to shoot it with. Oh well. All right. That I think I think we're ready to go, folks. Okay. Let me make sure that we are we are still recording so just hang on a second here and we are recording um and we're not getting the music though i don't know why we're not getting the music i'm hearing noises but i'm not hearing music um, let me try this. No, oh, no. Okay, why am I not getting music? See, I'm not getting any music. Don't hit X. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't getting music because there is no music playing right now. All right, we are all on and ready to go. We have tested this out now. Let's go see if we can aggro a giga. I know I'm going to keep these rocks right here because I'm going to want to get her to come right up over those rocks and head straight into there. Okay. All right. There's our prize. What a pretty girl she is. And we will come up here and stop for a moment. She doesn't seem to be focused on anything else right now. Got plenty of stamina. 
Alright. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, you don't want to worry about that damn turkey. Okay. No. This way. Are you stuck? There we are. Oh, she got my bird. Okay, my bird is losing health. Okay, my bird is back to not losing health. Okay. Get out of the trees. There you go. She's chasing after that damn turkey. Okay, I'm losing stamina and I've lost some health. So I'm going to go park scout for a minute. Alright, this is going to be really bad if that damn turkey... He's, she, she's all glitched in the... She's all glitched in the trees now. Okay. Alright. Let's get him... Oh yeah, see his health is way down. He needs to eat. Yeah, he took a... Oh no, he's not too bad. That's his XP I was looking at. No, he's not that bad. Okay, but he's he's building back up. He could still do this. He's got plenty of stamina. Just gotta get her attention. Come on. Come on. Good girl. No, this away. There we go. That's it. We're going this way. Come on. Nope. That's why we need a bird with good stamina. Yeah, I am flying slow. Come on. What, am I going to need to bring an Iggy? Come on. Come on. Boy, her unaggro is just awful. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Like, how many licks is it going to take to get to the Tootsie Roll? How many bites is my Argy going to have to take out of you to get you to want to come and eat us? Come on. Okay. This is not working with a flyer. Damn it. Okay, well, I need to go rest my RG for a minute, and then we need to think about this. Oh, my goodness. She just will not follow. At least not when we're up in the air. 
Okay. She's playing around in all them trees. Okay. Plan B is to maybe have something fast enough on land. And I do. I have a land beast that's fast enough to probably stay ahead of her. Well, hmm. Nope, come up here for a minute. All right, this is plan B though. What I'm gonna do is, I've got regular bullets on the gun. Okay, good. What are you doing all the way over there? Chasing an Andrew Sarkis? I wanna see if I can aggro her on me from here. No. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, she's now well aggroed on me. Good. Oh. Nope. She was right on top of me. But she got aggroed onto an androsarcus. Come on. I'm now in slow flight. Come on. And she doesn't even follow. Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh huh. That at least somewhat worked. Okay, let him. Because she aggroed on me from quite a good distance. Okay, he's all nice and. Actually, I want the good, good tall bluff. between us because when she comes over here she's going to come fast let's try this again come on I'm right here Yep. Hmm. Well. Do we really think we want this thing that bad? Come on. Come on. I'm just flying slow. It's like she won't leave the area. Come on. Gotcha. Good. You roared at me. Come on. All right. Well, hmm.
Come on over here. That's it. God, if, if I shot her from over here... Huh. Oh well, she went back over there. Okay, folks. Let him get up his stamina. Next... Next try. If she doesn't seem to want to follow something that's flying, it's just, I'm either too far out of her range. I mean, even when I just turn around and slow down, she was, you saw her, she was right underneath me and she wasn't aggroed on me. So, I'm going to have to get something that's going to outrun her. Or at least be able to stay up and out of her. At least try to stay up and out of her. This could get me killed, but, um, and my Iggy killed, but I've got... I've got plenty of Iggies. Well, let's go see what I can, what I can find. So, um, I'll just go ahead and continue recording through all of this. I've got a bunch of Iggies and cryopods, and I think my Iggy can run faster. Can I? No, I can't run faster. Um, but my Iggy can run. I think my Iggy can run faster. And, uh, I think what also can run faster is the Deinonychuses. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just going to put the Iggy in the cryopod. Yeah. I was just going to put the Iggy in the cryopod. Because I've got to look at the stats and see who's got the most movement speed. No, it's okay. My technical advisor was trying to help out. That was Mike. So, and he has very good suggestions, so I listened to him. Okay. We're just about back. Alright. Hi, Rusty. No, you can't run fast enough. Not even close. Now let me see what let me see what Tammy's got cuz Tammy's out and about and over here. Mm, okay, Tammy. Although she's a female, her movement speed is only 106. I can jump that up. She's got good health. Don't have to worry about her melee damage and stuff, but that would be it. Okay, she's at 106. Actually, yeah. Let's hate 10. 12. Let's go ahead and give all of that to her in movement speed, because we may go ahead and, and work with her. But I've got other Iggies and Cryopods, so let's see what we can find. Okay. And where's my Iggies? There's my Iggies. Gracie. Movement speed's 108. 106. 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so but those two I don't do anything with. There's another, no, that's that's a Stego. No, she has, she's, those are my only Iggies. The fellas, Blue Man Cruz, one, two, three. <sighs> Duke, Duke is at 100. Yeah, but I wonder I wonder how many levels Duke can go up. I'd rather take one of the boys rather than Tammy, but it'll just depend on whether he can he can run fast enough. Okay. Okay, Duke. Let's see how many levels you can go up. Oh, 25? Holy shamoly! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to go to 130. Give you a little more health. A little more melee damage. 
You're gonna go way up. I'll give you a little more weight also. While we're at it. Okay, 136%. Okay. Duke, my friend, you're it. thing is, is I'm going to have to tr at least try to get the Iggy out of the trap. Because if the, the doors are just too slow, they're going to open, the gig is going to be right behind me, and she's going to go right out those doors. <gasps> small doorway! Small door! I need a small door. Yeah, it is. What I need is I just need a regular dinosaur gate. That set on that set on auto that she can slip he can slip right through. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, so we need to modify this. Okay. We need another gate. I could also take a horse, but I don't think a horse is fast enough to outrun a giga. Even some of my horses are pretty fast. They're pretty beefy. Stamina is an issue. Okay, let me look on finished things and see if I've got anything. I do not. Let's build one. Structures, stone. Stone gateway. One and one. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Metal regular dino gateway. Maybe I should have do that. Maybe I should do that. Okay, yeah. Because she may be able to break this. Okay, regular metal gateway. Regular metal gateway. Okay. Yeah, I won't use the stone ones. I will use the metal ones. Can I craft one more of those? Oh, I can. I will take it. Thank you. Okay. Metal gateway. Another metal gate structure, and one more extra large metal wall. Okay. <gasps> now let's go see if we're ready. Nope. Okay. All right, people. Well, 
plan A didn't work so well. Let's see about plan B. And... We'll just have to kind of go from there. I, I really didn't think it would be that hard to get a Giga aggroed on you. Really? That was kind of surprising. But... I mean, because, you know, I can I can aggro absolutely anything in this game with an RG and have it chase me right over a cliff. And it will stay aggroed on me for a while. The only thing that doesn't really hold an, uh, hold its, its aggro for very long are other Argentavises. You can usually, you know, fly out of range with them and, you know, they'll just... They'll just peel off and be gone. This is harder than the dang Argentavises. And that, that does make um, Tame and Argies kind of difficult because you got to hold their interests long enough to get them from wherever they're at to wherever you have your trap. Unless, of course, you're using a net gun. If you're using a net gun, okay, you don't have to worry about it so much because you can just bring them down and, and right there. But, oh my goodness. much more difficult than I thought it would be to keep the interest of such a, a large and terrifying beast. So... I... going to have to... I'm going to have to try something out and see if maybe I can. If... I've never... I don't do player versus player much. So I'm not well versed on what animal... I can shoot off of or not. And it's... I don't know if I can shoot my gun off the back of my Iggy or not. I may be able to. Yes. And I may not be able to. And if I can... My technical advisor says that I can. And so if I can, then... Excellent. I can get... Okay. Alright, Scout. Now... I'm not sure... Okay, let's, let's come down over here. I think I'm going to park you over here. I'm going to go fix this to where we can get out right here. Oh, crapola. Alright folks, I'm going to have to cheat for a minute. I'm not willing to waste this pillar. No other way to get it. Okay, that was the only cheat I'm going to do. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, my Yugi can get through there. Yeah, I want it on this side. Nope. Well, but these are... Yeah, oh, I'm going to take her in and out several times. Take him, I should say. Now, I want pillars up on top. See if I can get that. Nope. Well... I know what I can... 
Okay. Okay, Duke. He's stuck by the pillar. Did I pick it up? Yeah. Yeah, the pillar had him stuck. Ooh, he is speedy. Okay, so... range. You know what? Once I get Duke out, I can put up some pillars. Because she's going to be in there and angry for a while. I can shoot off and aim. And then I can and go. Okay, I don't have to dismount. All right, folks. Let me see if I can get him over this cliff without killing him. Got it. Okay. All right. And he took a little bit of damage. Let me see what I'm carrying. Okay. He has something that's a little too heavy. Okay. Well, let's run on back up. Oh, gosh, and he doesn't have any food on him. We'll need to fix that. Why is he not jumping? We'll get you something to eat here in a minute, honey. See, here we are. Okay, because there's my jump. Okay. Scout's down over there. Oh, I should have put it on Scout. I forgot he was sitting over there. Yeah, because I'll be using... No, because I'll be using Scout for back and forths. Once I get the Giga in the trap. Oh. in my mind. That's the kibble and stuff. Once I get her knocked out. Ooh. Let's get rid of everything you don't need. You don't need 
this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this. I'll get rid of that and that, because you like blueberries best. Yeah, I think that can keep ahead of the Giga. Actually, I should put them over here. All of these things should go right over here. Lighten your loads. Okay. All right. You're going to go up another level. I'm just going to give you more speed. Okay. And your health is returning nicely. Maybe swim well. lined up to come this way. I don't want that trike to ruin my day. I hate to say it, trike, but I don't need her changing focus onto you. Oh shit! Oh shit! She's eating my Iggy. Oh no, Iggy's fighting her. Now Iggy's running. What am I doing? Duke. Just got killed. I didn't realize. Damn beast. Okay. If you're going to be over here, then damn it, I'm going to get my bird. Okay, plan B didn't work. Let's go for plan C again. Damn thing. Okay. This away. This way. My bird, right over into here. Come on, damn it. She's in! Got her. I don't know. It looks like I can keep her in, but we will see. Okay. And, and I need to switch to I need to switch to my trank arrows. Okay, now let's see if I can keep her in. 
that's the weakest point. Oh, God damn trollabite. One. Gosh, she's trying. I got her down! She's down! She's down! Six! Okay, I'm starving. Okay, yes, I know. No, I've got kibble. Yep. Okay, scout. Where did you go? Okay, yes, I'm a little excited right now. She's down. I gotta go get her kibble. Kibble's up over here. Don't worry, just take it all. Like six trank arrows and she's down. But I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. Come on, give me an E. Yes. She's not going to be unconscious for long. God damn it. Give me the ability to see her. I can't get to my E. There we are. Narcotic. Shit! She's up. One, I'm bleeding. Okay, I've stopped bleeding. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Can't see her. Th Don't you dare go over that. Down again. The problem was is I couldn't get to an area where I could E her. Access inventory. Goddamn narcotic. Feed the bitch the narcotics. And the good kibble. Taming zero. That's because she hasn't eaten anything. I've got her. She ate one kibble and she's mine. Yeah.
Holy shimoli. Yeah, she's only level 5. Damn it, I thought she was a level 16. Okay, well, you're a level 5. All right, people. I have a giga. Because... I can improve that. Okay, you just stay right there, darling. You just stay right there. Okay. Because your saddle's over here. Oh, you're on follow. I'm so sorry. You're right. You're on follow. You're doing your best. I went away. Okay. Okay, open the gate. All right. There's your saddle. Okay. Whoa. Big damn beast. <sighs> I better drink something. And I better eat something. My health was getting pretty low. Yeah, I was almost dead. <laughs> not paying any attention to me. I was paying attention to everything else but me. Okay. Now. Oi. Let's go get. She's good right there for now. Okay. i get off of you without killing myself. And behave here. I'm going to disable following. Okay. And, of course, you can level up. Your health is like 14. Weight 700. Melee damage is 25%. Oh, I don't think so. Thank you for stepping on me. All right. And scouts up over here, the good fella that he is. He's going to come over here. Look at that! I got her! I thought she was a level 16, though, not a level 6. Well, that was my mistake. Well, okay, if I've got trollobites right here, I'm not going to pass them up, actually. Okay. Oh, they're doing attack my target. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I need to fix that. Yes. Behavior. Attack my target to... I want you on neutral for right now. Let me go grab this other trollobite. I don't need your help, dear. It's just a little, little, little baby bug. It's okay. Thank you. See? Feed them a little kibble, and they're loyal forever. All right. Now, let me get this trap taken care of and at least the big metal walls and let's take them and put them on scout let's move scout over closer oh is he heavy yeah he's heavy no he's not too heavy to fly but I can put him in here. Okay. All right. Ooh. Well, what did I? Th what else did I get? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Well, let's get that one. And that one. And that one. And we'll put those on him. All right. Oops. 
too far away. Okay, what else do I have that's so heavy? Here. And... Oh, I've got oil and silica pearls. I've got all kinds of things from those trollobites. Those are really heavy, but they're not too bad. Yep. Oh, maybe we don't need you around. Okay. All right, I'm just kind of picking up here, folks. Um. You know what, I think I'm probably going to finish that some other time. And I'm going to get Scout on follow. And I'm going to ride my Giga home. Or at least homeward. Alright. Let's back up. I've got a saddle and everything. I got a Giga. Okay, you can't go anywhere because of my bird. Okay, there we are. He follows close. They're not fast and they don't have a lot of stamina. We're gonna take you up and around this way. So, there we are. There we are, people. We have a Gigasaurus. Let's level her up. Of course, giving more melee damage. Oh, let's give her something more to eat, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Because she already ate all the kibble. Okay, give her all the meat. And she can go up again. More melee damage. Okay. Now. Problem is, is I really don't know how to get her home. So, I'm just going to take her all along the beach. <gasps> Actually, I know how to get her home. What am I thinking, people? I have a little bitty piece of help called a cryopod. Okay. Yes, and even though we lost Duke... We're gonna... we got us a ginger. Okay. And... There we are. Let's pick up our meat and our narcotics. And let's take Scout and go home. Woohoo! We have a Giga! Thanks for coming along, folks. Um, like I said, we may have lost a good Iguanodon, but that was partly my fault. I abandoned him when he was still alive. I thought she had already killed him. And if I had joined in the fight, I might have been able to get back on him and get him out of there. Well, he was a good fella, but I've got like three more just like him. Plus his sister. So, anyway, um, 
Rest in peace, Duke, and welcome, Ginger. And we will see all of you fine people later. Thanks so much for coming along for the hunt. Um, watch for other videos. Uh, when I'm in Fjord, I'm on no my uh, my call signs Norse Gypsy because it goes along with the theme. But other than that, uh, my channel Granny Gypsy. We've started some gameplay over on the island, and we're going to do most of it on groundwork and exploring the island and showing you folks just how gloriously beautiful these maps are in this game and how fun it is to play, how very, you know, they say immersive and all this other stuff. It's very real. Um, you... The graphics are so good, and the landscapes are so challenging and wonderful that you just come in and you just enjoy. It's a whole nother world. It's, um, and you get to play with dinosaurs. And since I have been a dinosaur freak since I was about five years old, when my parents took me to the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History, that's where I saw the first dinosaur skeletons, uh, my daddy bought me a couple of books there, but of course he had to read them to me because in 1965, and yes, I'm dating myself, there were no dinosaur books for children. They were for young adults and adults and things like that. My daddy had to read me the dinosaur books, and I still remember him doing that. And I, re you know, I could, you know, say the names of all of these fabulous creatures before I could say most other words. Um, it was just a fascination I have always had for these creatures that were prehistoric. Uh, we spent, you know, many a time at the La Brea Tar Pits and over at the museum and just enjoying that. We did that the same with my kids when Jurassic Park came out. I read the book and I read that to my kids and it has been just one of those things we I have enjoyed um, dinosauria all my life and now I get to play with them I have carnosaurs over there and iguanodons and coming you know prehistoric horses oh yeah he's all, he's still on follow okay let's put you down babe let's get you off a of follow and so thank you so much for joining us um i hope you had as good a time as we did and i finally have a gigasaur and i will do some more adventures with ginger at a later date take care everyone and we'll see you next time bye bye